What is going on YouTube? In today's gameplay breakdown, we will be analyzing a viewer submitted gameplay. My dude Bella Hendrix and his squad go on an absolute banger. We're going to be covering the do's and don'ts of this team as well as the enemies that they encounter. Again, the purpose of this video is to put you guys in the position of these players, kind of teach you on what to do, what not to do, and how to avoid things like that happening. But if you enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel today, and if you want to catch any rebirth breakdowns, make sure you follow me over on Facebook Gaming. And again, the purpose of the entire series is to put us in the position of these players in a stress-free environment, because we all know damn well that whenever we're playing the game, none of us actually sit there and analyze our gameplay unless you actually record it and watch it back. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. All right, here we are going for our loadout. We do have an ATV on our way. We should be able to make it to our loadout in time. Hopefully we can turn on this kid and beam his ass right off the vehicle. It should not be a challenge at all. There's, come on, baby. One more. Look at him just sitting there. Look at him. Oh no, don't throw. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Look at them, they're so cute. Both of them dressed as Rambo. Now, as far as me in that position, I would have just used the FFAR originally, um, used that close range weapon, because I knew damn well he's gonna come to us. And then if they had driven off, I would have swapped my long range AMAX build. We have one more teammate or one more enemy out there. We do, our team is split off from us pretty, pretty drastically. We're in a bad spot right now, so we need to contest this guy, especially since he has a sniper. The problem with the position that we're in right now is we need to win the fight fast because this is a buy station and we are in the open exposed everywhere. The enemy actually run off. The enemy actually ran off. Not really sure why the enemy bailed out of that one. I really hope he got killed because he had a really good position on us. He had us perfectly uh, trapped. There was nothing we could really do. If he was half ass decent shot, he should have been able to kill us. For some reason, he just vanished. I don't understand that at all. All right, we do have a lot of enemies between us and our squad, so we should be able to pinch them. And again, whenever you're pushing fights, I always want to encourage you guys to push oh the enemies that are kind of soloed, right? These two guys, for example, would be the ones that I would push as opposed to the two guys camping in the building because they're going to be holding each other's pockets, hiding like a big back bitch, and it's just going to be too much of a pain in the ass to fight. So I'd rather take out the enemies that are easier. Good read, aid me at the door. That's exactly where I would predict them to come out of. But he didn't for some reason. The enemy had us in a very bad spot. He should have challenged us, to be honest. The moment he had us back there and cracked, he should have just pushed us and taken us out. But he hesitated, and we happened to get, be able to sneak in the building without him even seeing us. He made the buy, but I think he, I think he's in the building. He's got to be up top, maybe. I doubt the rooftop, because I would assume he would jump down on us. Yeah, I think he's on the second floor, too. He's got a trophy system set up. Oh, he's he was ready to camp, bro. He was born to camp. He had a trophy system. He's going to sit right here in this corner. And mind my damn business. Look at look at him playing with him. We're just toying with him like a cat. Look at this. Look at this. And still gonna eco challenge fully broken. Oh my god, man. And you know what? You know what's crazy is the players that do this, the players that sit in these rooms, and I'm not hating on anyone, but I'm gonna hate a little bit. The the, the people that sit in these rooms with trophy systems and they watch the doorway, they're the same people that accuse everyone of hacking. Everyone. You, you could have a 0.2 KD, and if you kill them, guess what they're gonna say? Hacker! It, you know damn well that's exactly what it is. And again, this is the reason why I made the series. So hopefully I can wake these kids up and they won't, you know, they won't keep doing this shit. Because this isn't doing anyone a favor. It's going to irritate us because it's going to make our fights a lot longer and they're just going to end up never improving. I and mean, we literally came through the door, our entire body exposed. He should have been able to kill us. But again, because he refuses to get out there, he refuses to play a little bit aggressive and he hides behind a desk. It's going to take him a lot longer to improve, and that's why he got shit on. So again, I always want to implore you guys to go out there, be a little bit more aggressive, and it's not because I want y'all to drop 30, 40 kills. Hell no, I don't want to make my job harder. It's because I want you guys to practice aiming and shooting. It's fun and cool if you want to practice in, you know, zombies, you want to practice in a private lobby, but it's a whole different environment when you're practicing in real time in Warzone. All right, we're assuming there's a guy up here. There he is, he jumped off and he's running away. Great angle from purple. It happened to be in the right position at the right time. Beautiful. And he ran right into his death. Unfortunate for him. There's still 96 left. Yeah, it's a really good lobby. <laughs> I can see in the comments now. Bot lobby, who cares? We all get bot lobbies. You get a bot lobby, I promise. But there's 94 enemies. We've had our loadout for quite some time. We have UAVs in the air and we are moving on. As a squad, I would assume we're probably close to 20 kills right now. We got a team sitting in here. What are you doing? Bella. Wake up! Oh, 
All right, Moe's out there. Moe and Purple on a two and two split right now. We're gonna go ahead and push in here. And if you guys are trying to practice your aggression and really put yourself out there, I highly recommend a two and two split. It's a very hard task for beginner players, but it is something that will help you guys improve. Because again, when you put yourself in these positions, you may take L's left and right, but the best way to learn, the best way to improve, not in just gaming, but in life, is taking L's. There's beauty behind taking L's. You have a great headset, fam. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even hear that. Granted, my volume's half <laughs> half volume, but that was that was a beautiful uh beautiful observation using your audio. We do have enemies above us right now. We hear the footsteps. Great call outs. Is that you? Nope. Is a guy here who broke 100 percent a guy here. He's got ghost on though. We're taking shots from the northeast. Northwest, sorry, correction. And there's still an enemy around us toying with us now. We were the cat, and now we're the mouse. Bro, bro, lock it in, lock it in. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, instead of sitting here trying to search for this player who's clearly hiding because he doesn't want to play the game, he wants to sit here and make this a running simulator instead of a shooting simulator. So instead of chasing him and wasting our time, they're bailing out, and I love to see that. Requesting recon. UAV up, nobody here. We got one guy back there towards Boneyard, Storage Town, somewhere like that. But because our teammates are already over there, uh, that's unfortunate. Mo goes down. I definitely go back for multiple reasons. One, your teammates down. Granted, they'll probably be dead by the time we get there, but we can get the vengeance kill and also we can gatekeep these assholes because they have to come to us. They're for some reason not executing them. They may have just sniped him when he was on the roof. Not really sure where. We know there's one guy at least at Superstore. And there was one guy rotating two super from the north hand side. We saw it on the UAV when we called it in. The enemy is up there. No, he's not. He's on the floor below us. He will be coming up the ladder though. He looks. He, the position he's at of the UAV right now screams ladder. So he might be crawling up. We gotta hurry. Look at that UAV. Yeah. Look at that UAV. Nope. Nope. Wow. He didn't come for his kill. Wow. It may have been a smart play on his part. I would assume the enemy was probably thinking there's a full team up here and he's not going to crawl up the ladder. But again, we have that guy. And also, like I said, there was a guy rotating down here from the north hand side. So I'm going to go ahead off of a whim and say there's two players around us. What? What? Come on, Activision. Fix your game, bro. Where do you go from there? I think he's in front of 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 there's a guy right under you guys. Oh my god. Is it the white skin? Yeah, yeah, white, skin yeah white skin. Oh god, the broken oh man. Oh god. Oh, car. Yeah, luckily we got a Bertha still so we can get safe. We don't have to worry about gas. There's one more player. Oh my god. That may have been the kid that was ghosted out we were chasing originally. All right, great job going back for your teammate. I'm gonna be honest, I thought he was gonna die. I'm pretty surprised the enemies didn't push him. I would assume again, what we had talked about was his mindset. Um, So thankfully we didn't have to worry about our teammate having to win his gulag, buying him back, getting his loadout. So we saved a lot of time on his part. Purple looks to be downtown by himself. Got a, we got a vehicle on the hill to the right-hand side. I'd honestly go challenge the shit out of that. Oh my god. His vehicle just disintegrated. <laughs> was not expecting that. Good shit. And again, we had that vehicle on the hill. I'm not sure where they went to. The vehicle is no longer on the mini map, so they may have driven off. Um, but I would have liked to have seen them contest that enemy as well. We do have the ATV to the left hand side. They hopped off the vehicle, start looking. Mini map. Nope, nope. Right side. Nope, nope. Yeah, there we go. Back on the vehicle. He goes. Should be easy beams. Should be easy beams. Just wait for him to come back up. Wait for him to come back up. We have a parachute coming in right now. I don't know what the hell this kid was thinking. This dude's playing a whole different game. Just because of the Bertha left here, I'd still be worried that there are players here. Player right hand side on the ground level by the street. Maybe heading towards the bounty. Green's in combat with him. So if green pushes in the, the front side, we can push in the back side and really just pinch the enemy. Big Bertha's coming back. Maybe the same team because this was the Bertha part here earlier. This player jumping off a little too soon. That guy didn't even realize he had a gun in his hand. <laughs> and the third teammate just ran inside. Sent him out of here.
great down with the knock, trying to get over the wall, but unfortunately can't make the jump. Green still in pursuit with some player. No pings going out, unfortunately, so we're kind of trying to figure out where he's at. Doesn't matter. He's dead. GG. All right, we got a lot of people sitting in the uh, hospital right now. I personally wouldn't push over there. The circle is going to force all these enemies to come out, get themselves exposed, and cross that open street. I would stay on the downtown side, wait for them to come while I'm cleaning up everybody in downtown. I see too many times, and, and it's not a bad thing. If you guys want to be hyper aggressive and go out there and fight the enemies for the next minute and a half, you think it can be done, go ahead. But the problem with that is getting over there and winning the gunfights in a minute and a half is going to be very difficult because they're going to be camped up on those buildings. What the? Someone just Thanos snapped that motherfucker. We do have an enemy behind us as well, coming in from the back inside. I think I don't. Everyone's teleporting. Ring around the damn Rosie. One goes down. The other enemy should be collapsing. I would assume these guys are on teams. I would hope so at least. Very weird seeing all these players playing solo. We have a guy in the ravine too. It's coming right to us. We could easily beam this kid without any hesitation. There's two guys. It's gonna be easier here. Look at this. He's playing a whole different video game. That kid, that kid right there is playing Fortnite. This one is playing some game spray painting walls. And then we have the third player here. Now, my question is, when you're playing as a squad, and I would assume that that guy right there is on a team of someone. When we're sitting here beaming one guy and then we beam two guys, that's about, what, a 30-second fight you'd imagine? Why did he just start shooting at us? Why aren't people helping each other out? Why are people just funneling into us one at a time? Again, guys, you're playing quads, duos, trios. If you want to go off and solo by yourself, by all means, get it if you're that capable. But if you're not, stop feeding the enemies these kills, man. This is why these guys are able to drop 15, 20, 30 kills because you're just running out in the middle of the open by yourself when you cannot handle a 1v1 fight, especially these guys who have no cover. Crazy. Work together, man. There's no reason for all of those players to get taken out by us. Literally like shooting fish in a barrel. We got a sniper sitting in the back. And it's teammates like that too, right? You, you have that squad where there's that one player that's usually a sniper, right? And there's nothing against that. I'm using the sniper as well. The problem is, if your team's getting knocked one at a time, bro, you might want to help out. If you're not shooting your sniper, which he hasn't shot one time, pull out your other gun and go push their teammates. This is bad teamwork right here. This guy's ego checking the shit out of us. We got a guy on the left hand, right hand side pushing us as well. Great job changing positions. Nade goes out, but it's nowhere near us again because we changed position. What are you doing? You know we're here. You just spammed us with your nades and you turned around and turned your back to us and allowed you to shoot in the back. Again, these are the same players that think everyone is cheating. Granted, there are a lot of cheaters in this game. Oh my God, what the, what are you doing? This whole time again, a whole different team. This whole time we're fighting. This Rambo guy is sitting in the corner the entire time. Never pushes us while we're fighting, nothing. All we saw was this one cat to our left run up. I had no idea there were two here. I'm gonna be honest. UAV didn't pick it up. I didn't see it. If it did pick it up, I had no idea. The problem is, again, while we're shooting, he should have pushed up because clearly we're shooting at something, which means what? Oh yeah, that means we're distracted. So you might want to take advantage of that, but no, he sits in a corner and prays to almighty cod gods that we just get DC'd and dev aired, right? It's exactly what it is. Weird, man. Come on. Dude, there's no reason. There's no, I don't care if you have a 0 .01 KD. I don't care. If you have four players, you're going up against one. All you need is a little bit of teamwork. You can have the worst aim in the world. A little bit of teamwork can go a long way. My position. Another enemy on the ground level, left hand side by the street. It should be another uh, easy kill. Throw in the care package and rotate over here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Ooh, he got lucky on that one. Navigate through buildings, guys. He's just running along the street next to a buy after we just blew through all those enemies. He should have heard us shooting over here and he never should have revealed his body to us. Granted, he survived, but it's pure luck that he did. All right, we're still missing two enemies, though. We got to be careful going for the executes because we have no idea where the teammates are at. Nice self-res. I'm trying to get my 20, man. Well, I'm trying to get my 20 on. 
I think the problem a lot of players have, and, and if you're guilty of it too, there's nothing wrong with it, but I think a problem a lot of players have is the fact that people would rather run from a fight because they're outnumbered and put themselves in a bad position just to run away. I'm all for bailing out and living a fight another day, 100%, but if you have to cross an open street to get away from the enemies when they're right on your tail, at that point, you gotta just say, I'm not running, I can't run, they're gonna shoot me in the back and kill me, I've gotta fight it out. Try your best to take out at least one, maybe two of them, because if you do come back from the gulag, Maybe y'all can reset and maybe try to fight this team again. Um, again, not against running away. Reposition if you need to, if you can. And again, the reason why he knows exactly where he's at is UAV. And here... Do we really need any explanation on that one? I mean, really? We got three guys on our left-hand side that have got to come to us. I'd probably go over there myself and gatekeep those assholes as well that are in police station. We gotta be careful because we do have enemies on the on the other side of the bridge. They could potentially be looking at us. I would be because they're in a great gatekeeping position as well. Did you guys see that? Let's just, let's just hit the rewind real quick. That's, again, it's, it's so weird. I find like this happens to me all the time. And let me know in the comments if it happens to you. Does it sometimes feel like when you're fighting a team, there's another team right next to them and for some reason not shooting each other? Yeah, watch this. He goes down. Team White. Look at this guy. Holy shit, weird. Hold another team right next to him. Granted, I'm sure he had no idea he was there, but again, lack of audio. You guys got to turn your volume up. I know it's loud as shit. I know the audio in Warzone sucks. I get it. But you should be able to hear gunfire. I'm, there's no reason for that. All right, again, I'm really worried about the team on the right-hand side. Um, that was at police station. They may have already moved, but we haven't even glanced over there. Oh, they're fighting underneath. Oh, left, left, left. Sniper on the left. Enemy sitting right behind the corner. <laughs> Another one bailing out on top of us. He tried going for it. You got to respect it, I guess. Over here, here, on the little, on the little. Moving. They didn't even shoot at us. We're again. We're out in the open, and they're not. They don't even care. Over the hill. Over the hill. Over the hill. Bro, there's two teams up there. There's a guy shooting on mini map to the left hand side. Go ahead and rotate with that circle. Get up there, and you can probably take out these two teams relatively easy. And to be honest, it doesn't matter what type of lobby you're in. These players should have acknowledged the fact that we're fighting at the bridge out in the open. They should have pushed this hill and shot down on us. But because they're all crouch walking, hiding, refusing to play. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Dang, good shit on green saving our ass. Awesome, man. But yeah, because they're not wanting to play the game and look down at us, they're sitting here in the middle of the street, crouch walking, you know, slapping each other's weapons and giving high fives and stuff. We were able to survive an area that we probably shouldn't have survived. All right, we got four enemy teams remaining. Again, we have that team all the way to the south hand side that left police station. I would imagine we got the team in here. I assume there's a team in here because we're shooting. And then we have a team on the right hand side as well across the ravine. There's four guys in here. Four guys. Four guys. Oh, we'll add in there. We'll add in there. All four, all four, all four. There's one player laying prone. They've got claymores. They've got Bettys, and they're laying prone in a corner. Why? Now look, I'm all for positioning and holding your position, but dude, this is not a good one, right? You may get a knock. You may even get an execute with all this shit laid up against the window. But again, this is quads, dude. And you're by yourself laying prone not really able to contest anybody. You're better off maintaining mobility and playing the outside of the buildings, trying to get one pick, two picks, three picks, four, than laying in a corner, hoping that four bots just run right to you and allow you to get headshots off on them. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. And I isn't caught up with these nades. Oh, he went down, weird, who would've thought? Look at this shit, dude. This is crazy. We're waiting for the Bettys to get destroyed, I guess. Oh no! This took a turn for the worst, my dudes. This took a turn for the worst. Holy shit. No shot! No shot! It's about to get thrown. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are now with two teams left. There's an enemy team on the outside, left hand side. He saw it on the mini map just now. We need to play a building. We need to play it up. Going ahead and launching the cluster to try to suppress the enemy from pushing us. Now, that enemy team should have pushed in here to kill us. 
the moment they saw everything happen and they heard the self res was going off they saw the downs they heard all the fire they should have pushed us but instead they hesitated and now we're gonna be able to lag our way to victory it is a 2v2 situation we need to go ahead out there and clear drop in some ammo for our teammate i think he's in the building to the left again i did see i did see the uh mini map pop up when we were self resing granted he was probably worried about a lot more shit than we were there's one over there to the right hand side there's two doesn't matter gg guys i really hope you enjoyed the content again if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video and the purpose of this series is to put ourselves in the position of these players to witness the mistakes players are making so that hopefully we can go into the battlefield and not make the same mistakes and i know i know bot lobby savage i get it but we all get bot lobbies we all get in lobbies with players worse than us there's no reason why we can't capitalize on that and take advantage of the mistakes that they're making go out there and slap out like these guys did but y'all have a good one until next time good luck in warzone